I'm going to show you two ways how you can factory reset a Samsung Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, or the S22 Ultra, okay? Two ways to do it. The first way, we'll, we'll do a um, soft reset, and the second way is a hard reset using the actual hard keys. Don't forget, with a factory reset, we will lose everything, all personal settings and videos and photos uh, from the phone. So if you have anything important, back it up before you do this. And the factory reset is basically for us if we want a clean slate to start things back over or maybe if you want to go ahead and sell it. So the first way to do a factory reset is uh, the soft reset. You have to log into the phone first and then from here we're going to go to settings. So we can swipe up in the middle of the screen like this and then look for your settings. It's not here. You can swipe over to the left. Mine is right here. Settings. So tap on settings. And then from here, what you want to do is just scroll all the way down to the very bottom. It should say About Phone here. Go ahead and tap on About Phone. And then from here, you want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. I'm hiding all my I email, my private information above. So from here, what you want to do is just go all the way down. To the very bottom, it says Reset right there. Okay, let's tap on Reset. And now, we see right here it says factory data reset. Reset your phone to its factory default settings. This will erase all data, including files and downloaded apps. Also, all of your photos and videos and whatnot, okay? So we're going to tap on this right here. Now, this is very important right here. So all this stuff is going to be erased from my phone. All data will be erased from your phone, including, you know, your uh, the Google account, um, system app data, and so on. Now, this is very important because if you look down here, if you're currently logged into a Gmail account, it should, or you sync the Gmail account, it should show up right here. I can see my email address here. It says you are currently signed into the following accounts, okay? Now, the thing is, we can go ahead and factory reset from here. If you go all the way down and we tap on reset right there to do the factory reset. The thing is, because we have this, uh, we have a synced Gmail address, once we factory reset and then once we do the setup process, Eventually, to get done the setup process, we will have to know the password to our email or Gmail that we have synced to this phone. So if you if you remember your password and you know your email address here, no problem. You can go ahead and factory reset. Just remember, you're going to have to know that um, you're going to have to know your Gmail address and your password that's associated with it. All right. But if you're selling your phone you definitely want to get rid of it, okay? So for myself, even when I do a factory reset, I like to get rid of uh, this uh, Gmail address because I have like 15 different Gmail addresses. Sometimes I forget which one I had in there and I forget the passwords and whatnot. So if you're selling it, you definitely need to go ahead and remove this, okay? So let me just show you how to remove the Gmail off of here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here. We're going to click on uh, back and then click on back again and then back. So right to the settings menu right here. So we're going to move that Gmail account. Okay, so now just go ahead and scroll down. And what we want to do is we want to go to where it says Google, Google services. Okay, let's tap on that right there. And then I can see my email address is up here. Okay, so what I want to do from here. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the right arrow right here. Let's tap on that. And then we're going to tap down here where it says manage accounts on this device. I'm going to tap on that right there. And then here's my email, uh, my email address, my Gmail address. So let's tap on that right there. And now we can go ahead and remove it from down here. So let's tap on remove. And then click on remove accounts. Are you sure device protection features would no longer work? And then click on OK. And then put in your password or PIN. And then if you put your password in, tap on continue. OK, voila. Now it's gone. OK, so now if I go back all the way down to about and I go to reset on the very bottom here and back to factory data reset you can see now it doesn't have my email address in here so now I can go ahead down here click on reset do the factory reset then I can go ahead and uh, sell the phone or even if I set up myself it's not going to ask me for my gmail account with my password okay anyway that's a soft reset right there now we can also do a hard reset using the hard keys to do a factory reset. So first thing is go ahead and turn off your phone. If you hold the volume down and power button at the same time, the power off menu here appears. We can go ahead and turn it off. Power off right there. And just wait. I just felt it vibrate now. It's totally off. Now next thing we want to do is this. We want to go ahead and hold the volume up. Hold the volume up and then press and hold power button. And do not let go. 
until we see the Samsung logo, and then let go of both buttons. Okay, so we'll do it together. Ready? The, the phone is off. Press and hold volume up. Now press and hold power button. And keep on holding both buttons until we see the Samsung logo. There it is, Samsung logo. Let go of both buttons. And then this is going to boot us up into the Android recovery menu. Right there, as you can see. And now from here, what you want to do is you just want to go down. Use the volume rockers to move up or down. You just want to go down to where it says wipe data slash factory reset. Okay. And this little thing down here in the red is basically saying if your phone is reset, you may need to enter the Google account, the Gmail account information, email address and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. Okay. So for us, we have no um, uh, Gmail account associated with it, so that doesn't pertain to us, okay? So we're going to go ahead and proceed here. I'm going to tap on the power button to select it, white data slash factory reset. Tap the power button to select it. And this message up here says basically uh, once you do this, this cannot be undone, okay? So we're going to go down to factory data reset, go down one, highlight it, factory data reset, and to select it, we're going to press on the power button right here. We're going to press it right there and we're going to go ahead and let it do its thing. Wipe data complete, it says down here. And now it defaults us. It highlights a reboot system now, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and tap the power button to go ahead and reboot and go ahead and let it do its factory reset. This may take a few minutes or so, so just be patient here. It'll stay on this Samsung Galaxy logo for a little bit. And voila, we are in business. All right, pretty simple. Now I can go ahead and start back over or I can go ahead and sell it as is. Good luck.